Hi everybody, it's Barbara. I'm here today to show you how I did this orange sponged uh, background for this card. I started with some daffodil cardstock from My Favorite Things and then I cut out a circle using um, Circle Stacks Set 1 Dynamics from some um, Eclipse masking tape and then I put that down where I wanted my sun to be because that's where you want the very lightest um, area to be when you're done. So you want to mask that off um, so as you're sponging around it that will stay um, clean so to speak. So I'm starting with daffodil dye ink and sponging with a um, ink blending tool and I'm just going around uh, oh probably about an inch out from that um, sun area and I uh, just blended it out and next I'm going to go in with some orange fizz it's a lighter orange ink it's also the dye ink and I'm gonna sponge it starting at the um, outside area and blend it in to the very edge of the daffodil ink and this takes a little time um, because you really have to go over and over and over to get the best um, look for this. So just be patient and um, you might want to practice on some scrap paper first before you actually do a project to kind of get the feel for it. It does take a little practice and it does take a little time but you can really make some gorgeous backgrounds with this technique. Next I'm going in with Orange Zest dye ink. It's a little darker. Again, blending um, into the previous ink and then out. I start at the edge of my cardstock and if you'll see most of the time I start doing my circular sponging motion on my craft mat and then move on to the cardstock. That helps to make it a little bit um, better transition. Um, Otherwise, you'll get um, too heavy an application of ink if you just put it directly on the cardstock. Um, so I finished doing that whole piece with that color. And now I'm going to go in with my last color, and it is um, Tangy Orange dye ink. All of these inks are from My Favorite Things. And I'm doing the outer area with the darker orange and blending it in to the others. Do you hear my cat? <laughs> I gave her a treat. I thought she would be quiet, but mm, didn't work. So um, just keep going over and over and over. And once you get the intensity of color that you want, and then I go back with the previous color and blend into that darker color. And again, down into uh, where that color was. And it just takes over and over and over. I looked online at some orange. Um, sunset images to kind of get a feel for um, how it would look and um, this is kind of what I came up with. It's not um, perfectly smooth and blended because a real sky won't be. So as long as uh, your colors blend into each other fairly well then you're going to be good to go. Then I went back with the orange fizz which is the lighter orange and did the same thing and now I'm going back with the daffodil. Sometimes depending on how uh, light your colors are that you're using you may end up ruining your sponge when you go back into the darker color but um, most of the time it will work. My goodness she is insistent. I guess I'll have to give her another treat when I finish this. So again I'm going back with the orange to um, really make those edges really really blend and um, also again just keep doing it until it looks the way you want it to and I will go back and kind of smooth out those um, borders between the colors. See it looks almost like there's some um, clouds that are reflecting the sunset in there. So that is um, pretty much it for the sponging and now I'm going to remove that sun, that mask, so that you can see how the sun looks 
I can get my tool open here, um, once all the sponging is around. Isn't that beautiful? You can really, that just really looks like a sun. And then when I used it on the card, um, it really made a good background. Thanks for watching.